Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is for Behavioral Science 3010 Statistics for the Behavioral Sciences at Utah Valley University. In this video, we're looking at the questions and answers to practice test for Chapter 2 on distributions, uh, the first of the three, so practice test A. Um, here's the first question. A chart of this type is called what? A bar chart, a histogram, a scatter plot, or a box plot? Well, this kind is called a histogram. Remember, a histogram, that comes from the Greek word for uh, sort of a drawing of uh, writing of masts, like the masts of ships in a, in a harbor. Um, it, you know, it's a bit of a stretch. But anyhow, a histogram is like this. It's like a bell curve, and it is something they use for quantitative variables. A bar chart looks similar, but the bars are separate from each other because they simply represent different categories. This one, however, is measuring something, and it's, and it's quantitative. A scatter plot is used for representing the relationship of two quantitative variables, and we'll get to that in a later chapter. A box plot is another kind of variable that's used for a uh, quantitative variable. It's used to assess outliers, and we'll see one of those pretty soon. Okay, number two. Uh, with the same chart, this one says this distribution is A, positively skewed, negatively skewed, normally distributed, or uniformly distributed. The answer to this one is positively skewed. It's uh, skewed because it's asymmetrical. We have some unusual scores that are f uh, further away from the mean than, than all the others. And those unusual scores are on the high end. So for instance, you see this is a uh, log time, so we got this uh, person here in the 5 to 6 range and another person in the 6 to 7 range. Um, so when you have the unusual scores on the high end, that's positively skewed. If they were on the low end, it would be negatively skewed. Normally distributed is a perfect bell curve and it's symmetrical and it doesn't have outliers like this. And uniformly distributed is totally flat across the top. All right, question three. A chart of this type is called a histogram, a bar chart, a box plot, or a scatter plot? Well, this one is a box plot, and this is the other kind of variable that's used uh, for showing quantitative variables. Um, a histogram was the other one, like a bell curve that we showed earlier. A bar chart is the bars for to show how many people are in categories in a categorical variable, a nominal or ordinal variable. Scatter plot, again, is used to show the relationship between two quantitative variables. But a box plot like this is really good for showing outliers. And so, for instance, you see that we have those two outliers represented as dots, black dots on the far right. Um, that's one of the main purposes of, of box plots is to check for outliers. Number four, what is the frequency of two in the following data set? So we've got a bunch of scores, and the answers are four, three to six, four over 15, or two. The answer to this one is 4, because the score or value of 4 occurs, excuse me, the score or value of 2 occurs 4 times. We have a 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2. Um, and so that's the answer. The frequency is how often does it, it, does it happen. Uh, 3 through 6 are their positions in the list, but that's irrelevant that four of the 15 scores are uh, for us. Now that gets into something called the relative frequency, but that's not what we're asking for. And two is just what the value is. Anyhow, the frequency of the value of two is four, so it's A. The last question in this uh, practice test is a normal distribution is categorical, symmetrical, bimodal, or uniform? The answer to this one is symmetrical. Um, meaning it's the same on both sides. A bell curve is, is a mirror image. Um, it's tall in the middle, it, it tapers down on both sides. Categorical, you know, I just threw that one in. A normal distribution is not categorical. Uh, you would use bar charts for categorical variables anyhow. Bimodal is if it has two humps, but a normal distribution has only one. It's right there in the middle. And uniform is totally flat. And that is not true for a normal distribution. It's peaked in the middle and tapers down low on both sides. Anyhow, that's it for the first practice test for Chapter 2. I'll see you in a moment for the second practice test.